Welcome to Git Basic Operations Session 2. This session I will primarily focus on Git branch and Git head. First, let's focus on Git head. Git head is a lightweight pointer points to a recent commit in your branch. This means our current repository has one branch and three commits in the branch. Head is pointing to the master and master in turn points to C3. In a sense, our head is pointing to latest commit in this branch. Head basically tells where exactly we are pointing to, where exactly we are in git commit history. Git log gives the commit history of current branch. If you see this, head is a pointer which is pointing to latest commit in this branch. We can move this head pointer using git commands. If I check out this commit, your head points to this commit and if you go and check the log, it displays only these two commits. Let's try that. Let's grab portion of commit ID here. So no need to put complete commit ID, at least six characters should be enough, but anyways. We got some information about the command. Now let's run git log again. See that early we had three commits where our head was pointing to third commit. After checking out commit number two, our head is pointing to a second commit. So basically head defines, head tells where exactly you are in your commit history. If I go back and say git checkout master, your head gets back to latest commit in the master. Let's see that. See now we're back again pointing to recent otherwise last commit in this branch. In case if you create a new branch, this new branch points to the same commit as master. This new branch is created from master. In git branches are lightweight and inexpensive. In case of SVN, branches are together a new folder containing all your objects. In this context, our head is still pointing to master. It means we are still in master branch. If you switch your branch to task 1, then your head points to task 1, meaning you are currently in task 1 branch. That is how head works internally in Git. If you do any commits to task 1, like this, your head pointer moves along with your branch pointer. If you make one more commit, your task one branch and head moves all together. This is how head works and this is how branches also work in Git. That completes the discussion over head. Now let's talk about branch. Branches give isolation to your commits. It gives isolation to your work. Typically we create a branch when we want to implement new task or when we want to fix a defect. Branch helps you to isolate your work. It won't mess up with others code such that your code is not going to impact someone else's code when you guys develop new features or fix defects. Once your implementation is done, we have to merge all these changes back to a main branch, in this case master branch. Let's explore all these concepts using demo. This is a command to create branch in Git. This command creates a new branch in Git from the current branch. Right now, the current branch is master. Let's check that. Git branch gives details about all branches in the local. And master has asterisk pointer, which means we are currently in master. And task one, right, is the new branch created. Let's also check git log one more time. See that right now your head is pointing to master as well as task one because both master and task one is pointing to the same commit as we discussed early. Now let's check out task one.
this command helps you to switch your branch currently we are in master now we are switching to task 1 let's rerun git log again if you see that head is pointing to task 1 now of course but still both master and task 1 have same commits let's add few commits to task 1 and again check this log command let's add some dummy text let's state changes let's do commit we committed this into task 1 branch let's check git log again see that our head is pointing to this commit and your master branch is one commit behind even this origin master instance the master branch in remote server is also pointing to same commit this is the new commit which is present only in task 1 now if you check out master branch obviously you won't see this commit because that is part of only task 1 right now let's check that as well see that and try git log master still has three commits and in case of task 1 it has four commits unless we merge changes in task 1 into master we won't see those commits in master now let's see how to perform merge how to merge changes in task 1 into master branch if you want to merge any changes to any branch from command line locally first stay in the branch where you want to apply all the changes into i want all changes into my master right now i am in master so i want changes from task 1 to master so first be in master and run merge command until the branch this command takes all new commits from this branch applies them to master branch see that if you go and check git log now your master branch has four commits like your task one of course but in real world you won't merge changes in local uh, typically we create a pull request and we perform merge in remote those things i'll cover in upcoming videos the intention of this video is to show all basic commands used on branching in git after merging we won't keep a source branch ideally let's see how to delete a branch in git we need to supply iphone d switch for git branch command followed by branch name this deletes the branch now let's check git log we don't see any information related to task 1 because it's deleted along with delete we do have force delete certain situations we create branches we work on new task and maybe managers might say your customer might say we don't need those changes the option is to discard them right uh, when you delete a branch if it contains commits which is not yet merged with its main branch it won't let you to delete it let's see that for demonstration let's create new branch let's check out stage it commit the change now let's try to delete this branch I can D task 2 we got error we can't delete a branch by staying in same branch let's get to master and do it now try to delete this branch see the error branch task 2 is not fully merged it simply says task 2 branch contains work 
which is not merged if you delete you're going to lose it but there are situations where we are okay to lose our changes then we use a forced delete option using capital D this force deletes your branch next let's see how to push local branches to remote I'm creating a new branch I'm checking out the branch let's do some commits in this branch Stage this file. Now the command is git push origin. The branch name is task3. This command pushes the local branch task3 to remote. The branch is pushed. Let's check this in the remote server. This is our remote repository. Can you see task 3 here? That is how we push branch to remote servers.